My name is Eric Strebel. Welcome to another video of mine about industrial design. Whether you're a designer or a model maker and you're just looking to make high quality models, something beyond a paper model that you may normally make, styrene is probably a great choice. It comes in tons of different varieties, thicknesses, and shapes. Flat stock um, mainly, but you can get it in uh, sheets and rods as well. These sheets here, they come uh, a little bit textured, so they give you a little variety. It's not just smooth, so if you're looking for some sort of a texture finish or something like that, it also comes in a clear. And you can get a lot of this stuff at a good hobby shop or on eBay. Um, it's sold all over the world. You can also vacuum form uh, styrene quite easily. This is a little example of some vacuum form wheels that I made out of an old European Coke bottle uh, from around 1995 vintage, something like that. These wheels were cast into a male model, meaning it was sticking up and you can see the definition on the one side is much better than the other. Here's some simple forms. These were machined out of Wren, something I just modeled up in the computer in Fusion uh, for another project and I had them machined out and then these are some of the ensuing blanks. Um, they are just used to paint um, color onto them for color samples. Here's a quick example of vacuum forming in process. This is me just drawing down some heated styrene over a male model. We suck the air out of it and it forms to the shape. It's a very simple process once it cools. Um, you can cut it up and use it for whatever project you're working on. As I noted earlier, it comes in uh, rods and tubes of all kinds of variety, not usually in color like the flat sheet stock does. The neat thing about some of these tubes is that they are made to slide into each other. So you can easily make like little hydraulic uh, jacks or rams, stuff like that. But it's really easy to... Uh, form and get some tube shapes. Evergreen is a popular um, supply place here in the United States. Any good hobby shop should have that. You can certainly search for eBay or Amazon for uh, Evergreen and you can get what you want also in metric sizes. Any sort of a model kit that you see in your local store, hobby store, um, is also made out of styrene. So those pieces will work with your uh, flat sheet stocks uh, when you glue them together, either using a solvent weld or um, super glue, a cyanolacrylate, something like that. This is a quick example of a model that I built out of styrene, a little solar charger. And it's used to simulate uh, the final product, show material thickness. It's very easy to make a functioning model uh, out of styrene. The pedals on this um, solar charger here were vacuum formed first. That's what you saw before in that vacuum forming video. And then they were laser cut out so they're all the same. And then it's all assembled and uh, easy to make a functioning working mock-up. Now the PVC uh, piping that you can buy at the Home Depot also comes in larger tube sizes, really readily available here in the United States. Um, you can theoretically also use that and bond that to the styrene. You should be able to use the same glue. Uh, if not, uh, super glue should work just fine. The beauty of that is it's readily available. There's tons of different glues as well. Uh, I'm showing you the two in the can are very thin like water and then you can get the thickened stuff here I put it on my hands um, it's just thickened version of the other stuff and it allows you to uh, not have the glue run all over the place for some people that's a little bit easier now applying this glue is fairly simple you could use a brush uh, like I have there on my cutting mat but I prefer to use a syringe it allows me to control where the glue is and the, the reason I like this system is that uh, I use these lure lock um, syringes just like they use in the hospital. It allows you to use whatever tip you want. These are all blunt tipped needles, meaning they are not pointy on the ends. So they work out really good for applying glue. Um, they come in different gauges. You can put them onto a squeeze bottle like I have there. I also happen to sell those on eBay as well. You can uh, look for them there. Um, the beauty of this system is that I can just put in whatever material that I want into the squeeze bottle or the syringe 
and then if I need to change the tip um, for a different application I can just go and switch out the tip very easily now some good tools to have for cutting styrene or just model making in general uh, one a scalpel I like it to make curved cuts and then a good uh, standard exacto blade I like the kind that you twist tight on the end that have a little bit more grip through the middle uh, they hold the blades much better when you're cutting styrene just a couple of scores on the styrene and then you can bend it over and it breaks uh, right along that score line it's quite easy um, to do that I use that cutting mat to help me cut the pieces straight the other option is to flip the blade 90 degrees and you'll actually gouge the styrene and you can break it off. I like using a file to straighten out and flatten the pieces. You may also need to take the burr off the edge of the styrene as well and here you see me doing that just scraping it with an X-Acto blade to get that little burr off the edge from the cut. I like using a file because the file is already flat and straight doesn't usually get gummed up or clogged up like a piece of sandpaper um, I use a file that's flat on one side and then has a curved surface on the other and allows me to um, also sand or file curved surfaces here I'm placing the part on a piece of wood just to help me stabilize the piece and get good even pressure across the piece of styrene the other option, of course, is to use a piece of sandpaper. Here I think I'm using about a 180 grit piece of sandpaper on top of a piece of wood, of course, so it's flat. So the object is to get the styrene flat so that I can bond it uh, nicely to another piece of styrene. Another great little tool is these little files, nail files. You can buy them at your local beauty store or you can make your own um, little piece of uh, styrene or plastic. And I spray mount some different grits of sandpaper to those uh, strips so I can make my own and then I label them so I know exactly what grit. Sandpaper is just great for taking off the little burrs and rounding corners. So, now let's actually glue a couple pieces of styrene together. I take my syringe with my uh, blunt nose needle in there and I insert it into my can. And I just uh, suck up a little bit of solvent into the syringe. It doesn't affect the syringe. Once I've got my two pieces prepped, I'm doing it on a piece of wood because the solvent will uh, eat away my cutting mat, the grid. You can see where it's already started to dissolve. I'll put a little bit of uh, solvent here on the edge and you can't really see it but it's actually dripping down this edge and it's coating the entire edge and basically softening the plastic. So I then take the two pieces of plastic and I put them together and the solvent literally melts the styrene um, at a molecular level and it creates a fairly tight strong bond. Um, instantly it pretty much sets um, it'll take a full, let's say, an hour for the solvent to evaporate and fully cure, but you can get something uh, quite nice. So the beauty of that is, of course, is that glue isn't squirting out all over the place. It's quite thin. Um, here I'm just gluing a, a couple pieces together. I'm going to drill a hole in that flat piece and uh, glue the two pieces together. Now if you don't want to solvent weld it or you don't have that stuff, you can glue it together with uh, CA, Sinalacrylate, and uh, the stuff in the blue is the sinylacrylate. The stuff on the right in the brown is a kicker. It kicks off the sinylacrylate uh, much faster, so you don't have to let it dry. You can put a little drop of that is on. The drawback of that, of course, is that uh, it gums up the sinylacrylate, and it doesn't always make the most beautiful joint. The best joint you will get will be with the solvent weld. That kind of covers the styrene model basics. I'm going to have another video after this where I'm actually going to kit bash um, a quick uh, model together out of some different plastics, including the styrene, and just show you how quick and easy it is to model something up using different plastics. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel below. You can also follow me on Twitter where I'm tweeting about products on this planet and different projects that I'm working on. 
You can also go to the Botson website and sign up for the newsletter and get occasional updates about the different projects that I'm working on. Feel free to share this video on your favorite social media site and let your friends know about it. Rock on!